Fundamentals of Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR, is a type of radar sensor that actively sends electromagnetic waves to the Earth's surface and receives the reflected signal. The electromagnetic wave received by the sensor is called the measured backscatter. A SAR image is a 2D rendering of the measured backscatter. A sensor can be classified as either passive or active. A passive sensor, using optical systems, records electromagnetic waves emitted by the sun and reflected from the ground surface. An active sensor, used by SAR systems, functions as both the source and the receiver. This means the sensor transmits the electromagnetic waves and also records the reflected waves. Unlike an optical sensor, SAR sensor can operate during the day or night, independent of the sun, since it transmits its own signal. Applications of Synthetic Aperture Radar 1. Flooding In August 2017, Hurricane Harvey hit the coast of Texas causing catastrophic flooding. The map shows the spatial extent of the flooding of land-slash-permanent water bodies, blue color, and kicked-up debris, pink color, before, August 5, 2017, and after, August 29, 2017, the hurricane. 2. Oil Spills On August 23, 2021, an oil spill occurred from the Benias Thermal Station, a major oil refinery in Benias, Syria. The map shows the spatial extent of the oil spill, black and magenta color, on August 24, 2021 and on August 30, 2021. 3. Deforestation In Acre, Brazil, within the Amazon rainforest, there is deforestation mapped clearly by SAR data in just an 11-day period. Deforestation between July 22 and August 2, 2021 is indicated by the black and magenta colors. 4. Sea Ice Between December 17, 2021 and February 13, 2022 the sea ice in the Hudson Bay is starting to melt and break up into small pieces. SAR imaging of sea ice during dark Arctic winters provides useful navigation insight. Sail through the Panama Canal can be seen as yellow sprinkles just southeast of the entrance. SAR capabilities allow ship detection through storms when cloudy conditions are common. Electromagnetic Spectrum Through active sensing, SAR sensor can collect imagery using longer wavelengths compared to an optical sensor. Optical sensor wavelengths are from visible to thermal infrared waves. SAR sensor wavelengths are microwaves from K-band to P-band. The microwave wavelengths characterizing SAR systems also provide distinct information about the physical properties of the Earth's surface, such as Roughness Density Moisture content Microwave wavelengths typically scatter differently based on the feature that reflects them. If the wavelength is longer than the feature of interest, the feature will be undetected by the electromagnetic wave. Another important aspect is the interaction of the signal to an electric field. Objects on the ground react to an electric field in different ways. Another important aspect is the interaction of the signal to an electric field. Objects on the ground react to an electric field in different ways. This can be attributed to the dielectric constant, how strongly a medium will reflect an electric field. So, the higher the dielectric constant, the stronger the reflection. Dielectric constants. Vacuum slash air is almost equal to 1. Dry soil is almost equal to 5. Wet soil is almost equal to 25. Water slash metal is almost equal to 80. Backscatter. The electromagnetic wave received by the sensor is called the measured backscatter. For the amplitude of a SAR image pixel. High digital number equals strong backscatter. Low digital number equals weak backscatter. The strength of the amplitude of the measured backscatter is used to differentiate between features on the ground. The time delay between the transmitted and received electromagnetic wave determines the location of the feature. A SAR image is commonly delivered as two product types. 1. Ground Range Detected, GRD, a GRD image is stored as a real valued array in which the value in each pixel represents the amplitude of the measured backscatter signal. 
2. Single Look Complex, SLC, an SLC image is stored as a complex valued array in which the single complex value in each pixel represents the amplitude and phase of the measured backscatter signal. GRD products have been averaged to produce a multi-looked image projected to the ground range using an Earth ellipsoid model. SLC products are in the image plane of the data acquisition, known as the slant range plane. Polarization Active sensing also provides the ability to control the polarization of the transmitted electromagnetic waves. By having the SAR sensor define both the transmitted and received polarization, the resulting SAR image can highlight different features on the Earth's surface based on the backscatter. SAR data polarization is denoted by two letters. First letter equals transmitted polarization. Second letter equals received polarization. Types of polarization. 1. Copolarized, the transmitted and received waves share the same polarization. VV polarized data. HH polarized data. 2. Cross polarized, the transmitted and received waves do not share the same polarization. VH polarized data. HV polarized data. 3. Dual polarized SAR images feature either. VV, VH polarized data. HH, HV polarized data. 4. Quad polarized SAR images feature both. VV, VH polarized data. HH, HV polarized data. As with the wavelength, the transmitted and received polarization used strongly impacts the features captured in the SAR image and must be taken into consideration. Types of scattering. For most microwave wavelengths, smooth, horizontal features such as roads, airport runways, dry lake beds, flattened soil, still water, and sand reflect the electromagnetic waves away from the sensor and exhibit pixels with weak backscatter. Similarly, for most microwave wavelengths, human-made objects characterized by reflective material and sharp geometries, such as buildings and ships, reflect the electromagnetic waves back to the sensor and exhibit pixels with strong backscatter. There are four main types of scattering. 1. Single bounce. 2. Double bounce. 3. Diffuse. 4. Volume. Double bounce scattering. The radar signal reflects once off a vertical target onto a smooth surface and reflects a second time off the smooth surface back toward the sensor. For double bounce scattering, the polarization is not altered and causes a high backscatter in the copolarized band and a low backscatter in the cross-polarized band. Sensor Orientation The SAR sensor is mounted on a satellite and points sideways instead of straight down like an optical sensor. This is because SAR sensors measure range, R. So if the ground was illuminated vertically down, nadir, there could be two points that measure the same range in different places at the same elevation. For this reason, SAR sensors are oriented in a side-looking geometry to ensure that those points for a given line would be placed in a different pixel location on the image. Distortions Radiometric and geometric distortions occur due to the side-looking imaging geometry of the SAR satellite. The figure below shows different types of distortions that can occur when the signal interacts with the terrain on the ground and are addressed in the subsequent sections. The recorded SAR sensor image is shown on the slanted plane and marked SAR image. The different colors indicate how the ground surface maps to the pixels in the SAR image. Spatial resolution. Active sensing enables a SAR sensor to synthetically increase its spatial resolution. A SAR sensor emits electromagnetic waves with a chirp of varying frequency that serves as a marker in the received waves. As a satellite orbits or an aircraft flies along its track, the SAR sensor images a point on the ground surface multiple times. The chirp marker is used to identify the location of the received waves. This feature, combined with signal processing techniques, enables a SAR sensor with a short antenna to synthetically elongate its antenna, which enhances its spatial resolution. To identify the location of the received wave on the ground, the SAR sensor must be side-looking. If a SAR sensor is nadir-looking, pointed straight down, it cannot use the travel time to distinguish between features that are an equal distance from the sensor on opposite sides.